Fine, 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 fine chat. All right, look. Story number one. Okay. I'll start with the kick story. Actually, no, the kick story is a bit fucking Larry. I'll start with the other one. Okay. Everyone get cozy, get your popcorn and listen. All right. So I went away on holiday, right? To Copenhagen, as you was aware. Now, let me give you the backstory. Me and my girlfriend in lockdown last year was living together. Um, well, not last year, whenever lockdown was. I was living with my girlfriend. Um, one day, the shops reopened, right? Oh, yeah, the shops are open. Everyone was excited. No one had bought shit or been to a shop in months. We go, I think it was her idea. She goes, we should get hamsters. Now, there's one thing you should know about me. I'm extremely impulsive, and normally I say yes to everything. I am not normally against doing anything. I'll say, fuck it, let's do something. So, we got hamsters. We got two of them. When we got the hamsters, I was under the impression that these two hamsters would live together. She would keep the cage, and we'd swap it every so often, right? So, I'd, I wouldn't have to look after it that much. Day three of being hamster parents, they start fighting. They start fighting, bro. Like, aggressively fighting. We separate them. There's now two cages. Okay? There's now two cages with two separate hamsters. So, at this point, she now has one, and I have one. And it's kind of fucked it from get-go. Because now I have to permanently look after one, right? So that was that. How to. It's fine. Whatever. I look after him. Before I go on holiday. So she goes to uni. I get both of them. So I've now got two hamsters. Before I go to Copenhagen. I see the hamster. He's looking a little tired. I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's just sleepy, isn't it? Give him some food. A little sprinkle of food in the cage. Come back from Copenhagen. This is about a week later. Um, you know, the food hasn't really moved. I'm thinking, oh, it's fine. Like, he probably just has a little secret supply in the corner or something. Um, you know, a couple days pass. I've not seen him. Still not seen him. Still not seen him. So, I call the boys. I'm like, boys, I'm in a call with, like, Matt, Dean, Nellock... I'm like, boys, we have a fucking code red right now. A code red. Okay? So, I get the cam on. I flip the cam. And we start, you know, having a little look around the cage. Try and locate the hamster. Alright? People started coming up with, you know, fit, uh, ways I could get around it. Like, maybe go in and buy another one and replace it so she would never know. Or... I think the best one was uh, was uh, Dean's one. And I'm going to out this. And this is why Dean was saying we're all sick. This motherfucker said I should have put the cage by the window. And pretend it fell out the window. And been like, oh, it fell out the window. The hamster got away. I was like, oh, okay. That's a good option. So I considered that option. And then who else gave another option? There were some more options. Some people said I should have made it look like my house had been broken into and that they stole the hamster. That was another good one. Anyway, it died. It was dead. At this point, I know it's dead. I'm panicking. I'm thinking, fuck. I've now got to tell her that it's died. So then yesterday, she comes around, right? That's why I ended stream early because I was like, oh, shit, I've got, to, I've got to tell the info. She comes around. She pulls up. She gets here. In a great mood. Just one of them days where she was just happy. You know? She was just smiling. She was happy. She was very happy. I said, look, I'm really sorry to do this. But I'm going to have to kill the mood. I'm going to have to tell you this. Like, I have to tell you. I'm like, the hamster's dead. I look at her. No tears. Didn't look sad. It was like, oh, man. I was like, this is great. She doesn't care. That's good. Like, I'm like, okay, cool. I was overthinking it. Then she goes, what did you do with the body? Um, And I said, well, you know, 
I wasn't going to need the cage anymore. Um, I wasn't going to, you know, I got the cage with the hamster still in it, stuck it in a couple of bin bags and put it in the bin. I tell her that. All of a sudden, psst, tears start flooding. She goes, I don't even care that it died. I just can't believe you put it in the bin. I'm like, oh no, I fucked it, boys. I fucked it. I fucked it. I absolutely fucked it, bro. And she was, bro. I should have said, I should have said I buried it or something, bro. I should have said I buried it, man. But yeah, that was that was the story. You know, it was fine after around half hour, 45 minutes. You know, she played with the one that was still alive. Everyone was everyone was calm. Dean. Dean, I you, bro, you put me on the wine, bro. I had a the, I had a whole bottle last night because of that mat shit, bro. Because of that mat shit, I had a whole bottle. I woke up this morning feeling groggy because of Matt, bro. <laughs> but yes, that is the story of the hamster that has deceased. Um, so that's unfortunate. So it is in the bin. But rest in peace to Doom. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Rest in peace.